Hello, and welcome back. So far we've been playing around with functions and procedures, and we've been making some little subroutines, making our program. Currently, everything that we've made has been declared within the declarative region of our main program. And this really is not a good way to work as things get bigger and bigger, which they will. What I want to look at today is setting up individual modules. By the way, I did fix that problem that I was getting with the Ada language server throwing up errors. And the way I fixed it is if I go to extensions and I search for Ada, I wasn't able to get Ada theme to work, unfortunately. I don't know why. But if we look here, we have this Ada language support with 30,000 downloads. Here we have a deprecated one. And then right down the bottom, we have this Ada language support with 4,000 views or downloads. This one works. The other one doesn't work on my system. So if you're getting something similar, possibly look into that. I spent longer than I want to admit trying to get that to work. Ada modules are really, the programs are really split into two parts. Just go to the source file. I'll make a new file. Let's say all this matrix stuff, I want to split that out into a separate module called linear algebra. One type of file is an ADS or an ADA specification. Anything I declare in here will be visible to everything else. I'm going to go ahead and make a, let's make a procedure for now. Actually, I changed my mind. I'll go ahead, I'll make a package. Okay, so I'm going to make a package. Package name is linear algebra. There we have it. So anything that I declare inside this package scope will be visible to other modules. So to start with, let's say I want to declare this data type. Go ahead and grab that. Now, if I were to run this right now, it would complain. It would say, hey, you are using matrices, the data type in here. And I don't know what that means. As a matter of fact, let me just do that now. Yep, we get an error. It says, hey, error matrix is undefined. What I need to do is I need to include package. What this with statement is doing is it's sort of similar to C's include. However, C's include sort of is an instruction to copy paste some code, whereas with in Ada is an instruction to the compiler with semantic meaning. Now, the real benefit there is if you remember C++ trying to get GLFW and GLAD working together in things, you have to include things in a certain order. Not so with Ada. You can include these in any order because this is checked by the compiler. So I can go ahead, run this, and it's still going to complain. So it says here, the error occurs on line seven, matrix is not visible. So I've included this package, but I've, I'm not really, I haven't made it visible. So if I wanted to use this data type, I could access it. Currently the linear algebra package is invisible, but I've included it. And if I were to run this, it would complain about another line because this line seven is now okay. Now, obviously this isn't ideal. So what I can do is I can go ahead and make that package visible with the use statement. So if I were to go like that, use it, this would now be visible. There we have it, it works. In addition to declaring types, we can also declare constants. So I can declare a bunch of constants in an ADA specification file and then refer to those anywhere. So I'll say, make the identity matrix. Now, just to test that this is working, I will go ahead and display the identity. Let's give this a go now. There we have it. So see, we have read that constant from the ADA specification. 
We can work with it, we can do whatever we want, except modify it, of course. So another thing we can do is we can put procedures into a package. And just to demonstrate this, I'm actually going to start with something even simpler. So let me say, I'm going to make sort of dodgy, I'll fix this up later, but I'll make this matrix display So in a pinch, I would not recommend this, but I'm doing it for completeness. We can make just single procedures and then flesh them out in the files. And the reason I say I wouldn't recommend it is the way I would go about this is make a package. But anyway, so a specification has the job of declaring basically the sorts of stuff we're gonna use. This is the interface, which is visible to other parts of the program. On the other hand, the ADA body file, ADB, is where things actually get defined. So what I'll do is I will grab this. And this is just super, super quick and nasty. I should really fix this up, but that's fine. Here I'm just grabbing a package that I need to use and defining everything as normal. And I'll just go over and use this. I wonder if this works, let me give that a shot. Hmm, very interesting. So here I'm using this display matrix, its specification and body are called matrix disp. And as we can see in the error, it is searching for this exact file display matrix. That's very interesting. I wasn't aware of that. Let's just rename these. Now we'll give that a go. There we go. Okay, finally got it working. This is super dodgy. Don't do this. I'll fix this up in a second, but I'll just talk through it super quickly. So here I've got a number of modules. I've got my linear algebra, which basically is declaring what matrices are. And then I have a separate module, which is in charge of printing matrices out to the terminal. In the specification, we know that we're using a matrix type. And in order to be able to do that, we'll need to rely on the linear algebra package and make that visible to us so that the matrix type within there, we can use it. Then within the display matrix, we depend on the text printing. We go ahead and do that, work that out. And finally, we can include that package and use it. So like I said, don't do this. I'm just gonna take a second now, work on this package and actually sort of declare things properly. So I'm going to go to this matrix display, grab this, put that in there. And while I'm at it, I'm going to just yeah, get rid of that. I'm going to just grab all the other procedures here. So we have say hello. Oh, we don't need that. That's just a little jokey joke. But yeah, I'm going to grab these ones. Uh, so trace and set matrix. Those were the ones. Hopefully, as you can see here, we have these procedures. These are just their declarations. And we know that the declarations because we do not have any statement of this thing is this. Very nice, very cool. I'll just go ahead and rename this to what it should be. I'll rename it to linear algebra. All right, so here we've got our package declaration. In linear algebra, we're going to have our actual package. So this will be what's called our package body. Package linear algebra body is this stuff. And then right down the bottom, it will end. Don't forget to remove unused dependencies. Okay, so have a look at this. At the moment, I've got my package body and I think I've messed this up. 
the error is pretty informative. It says, hey, this line, this character, you need to put body here. So we have our package body. There we go. I said, there we go. So it turns, it turns out we don't use a begin. There we go. Okay, everything's working just as normal. So I just want to make one little addendum to that. And that is sort of a cool thing. So when I'm going in on uh, a few things, actually, let me just, let me just do this. Apparently, if we want to make a, a new line, there is a new line procedure, which will do that. Let me give that a go. Great. Perfect. Excellent. Now, the other thing I want to look at is what's called renames. So at the moment, I'm printing out these integers and this is a little, I mean, it's not the worst, but it's a little dodgy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to name this. So here, what I've got is instead of, let me go back to the main, instead of having to call image as an aspect on this um, integer result gets a little verbose. I mean, you may come to stages where you're dealing with packages with things which are named in weird ways. Wouldn't it be great if we had another name for them? Psych, we do. What you can do is actually is actually use the renames keyword to basically think of it as import over this function and make an alias for it. So when I call the image function now and I input an integer, it'll return a string under the hood. It's really acting as an alias for this image aspect there. But there we have it. So, yep, I'm happy with that. I'll leave that there. We are now one step closer to our first tic-tac-toe in the terminal get psyched game. That'll be it for now. All the best. Happy coding, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.